everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel where we talk all things fragrance and beauty. Recently I had the pleasure of experiencing YSL's new cologne for men. And when I say pleasure, I mean pleasure. YSL came out with a new cologne called Myself. And let me tell you, it is nice. I have talked on and on about how much I love To Me Awaken for men. It is the sexiest fragrance that I've experienced in a long time. Myself would be the strongest contender that I have yet to experience. It is so nice. Lone by YSL has been kind of one of my long-standing favorite fragrances on men. Lone uh, La Nuit Lone was also very, very nice. It kind of reminded me of Armani Code. It kind of has that vanilla where Lome is more of an aromatic citrus type scent. Le Nuit Lome is more, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but the, the Lome Nuit, the black ombre type bottle one, uh, is more, is like Lome, but with a vanilla-y uh, approach. YSL myself kind of takes the best of both worlds. It has the aromatic, citrus sharp, gin and tonic type aspect to it, but then it merges itself with the Armani Code, Le Nuit de Lome type roundness, and it's just so enticing. It is enticing. So if you wanted to check out another extremely sexy scent for men, definitely check out Myself by YSL. I read one time that uh, if a cologne has a black bottle, then most likely it is going to be a super fragrance. And guess what my self's bottle looks like? It is black, it is striking, it is a manly bottle. Again, YSL is more of a designer fragrance. It's more of a liked by most type fragrance. So it's not gonna be the most unique. You want something all your own, probably not your go-to YSL type scent, but it is definitely one worth checking out and a reasonable price point on top of it. I really like the promotional materials uh, that go with the myself, the um, advertising for it. They used as the ambassador for it, Austin Butler. I'm not really familiar with Austin Butler. To me, he looked like a younger Johnny Depp, which I thought was interesting considering Dior used, you know, for Sauvage, Johnny Depp is definitely the main face of that. As I was saying about the bottle, it's black, it's striking. They said it's a YSL silhouette in a bottle, luxurious, timeless, couture black finish, iconic YSL logo embedded in the glass, sleek edges and monolith structure, embrace the unique woody floral fragrance inside. Suzanne Dalton was the designer. Myself is like a lot of the other lines are doing right now. They're trying to be more uh, conscious of the world. So it's a refillable fragrance. If you don't know, I think it was Killian that started that trend. So it's interesting that everybody is kind of copying him now, but wanted to put that little uh, promotion for Killian in there because I think he deserves it. But a fragrance that seamlessly fuses with your skin, re revealing a distinct signature for each individual. My scent, myself. Myself is the expression of the man you are with all of your emotions and nuances. A distinctly unique fragrance for those redefining what it means to be a man. A floral twist on a traditional woody fragrance. My scent, myself. Gucci too with Guilty, they wanted to redefine the typical man. So I think it's interesting that myself is kind of, I mean, not overtly, but it reminded me a lot of Gucci Guilty in their philosophy of redefining what it means to be a man. I suppose it's not that extreme of a idea. In terms of the layers of the fragrance, on top a fresh and vibrant accord with sparkling bergamot, followed by a rich, intense orange blossom, absolute heart from Tunisia. The base is warm and sensual woods, including Indonesian patchouli and musky ambro fix. Again, in the commitment to reducing the impact on the environment, the glass bottle contains recycled glass and boxes are FSC mix certified. All formats of myself are refillable, allowing for less packaging material. As I said, I didn't purchase the bottle. I got the sample of it. So this is myself. It's an eau de parfum. We're going to apply it. Here's the Mm. <laughs> is all I'm gonna say. Like, I, I love this, I seriously love it. It starts off, it's a total mix of all of my favorite fragrances, which is just 
unbelievable how it can be woody and smooth and yet uh, aromatic at the same time, but I am here for it. It is slightly fruity, which it's funny because the the orange blossom, orange blossom is a floral. It doesn't really smell like orange, but yet I definitely get like a fruity, a fruity hint in there. Again, starts very aromatic, very reminiscent of uh, loam and nui loam with you know, like I discussed before, but then as it dries down a bit, you get more of that fruity punch, which I don't know where that's coming from because based on the notes, there's nothing in there fruity, but that's what I get, like the sweet fruity uh, heart. And then as it dries down, you're left again with more of that woody base, that in that, um, for lack of a better term, more of a signature uh, designer fragrance type base. Again, I would love, I mean, this is just smelling it out of the bottle as well as on myself. I really want to experience this on a guy and see if I'm as taken with it as I am right now. Uh, again, fragrance smells so different on different people, so it really depends on how your body wears the fragrance. So I guess jury's still out. I'll have to experience this on a man and then I will give my feedback as to if it does indeed beat To Me Awaken. But right now, To Me Awaken, you have my heart still. I'm loyal to you. I'm a faithful woman and To Me Awaken, we got that thing going. I definitely encourage you to check out Myself by YSL. There will be a link in the description below if you're interested in using it. Totally fine if you do, totally fine if you don't. It's just there for your convenience. If you are interested in checking out To Me Awaken, as I definitely encourage you to do, nodding, you can do so. Uh, make sure you use my coupon code of CAT20 and get it from So Avant Garde so that you'll save some money there. Again, at So Avant Garde with my coupon code of CAT20. We'll list it for your convenience here. Hopefully I can enlist a guy in the near future to try this out and then update you guys on if it indeed is as enticing on a man as it is on myself. But right now it definitely is in one of my top five positions of most enticing fragrances for men. Again, my name is Katherine Cole. Thanks for checking out my channel. I definitely appreciate you. If you have experienced this, please um, comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to talk to you guys and hear your thoughts on things as well. It's what I'm here for. It's why I do these videos is to be able to talk with you guys and share my experiences and your experiences with fragrance and beauty. So definitely uh, let me know your thoughts. G hasn't made an appearance for a while, so here she is, getting so big. And to finish out this video, I'm going to end with the words of one of my favorite authors. She is just a brilliant woman, and I greatly esteem her thoughts on certain issues, and that is Brene Brown. To be authentic, we must cultivate the courage to be imperfect and vulnerable. We have to believe that we are fundamentally worthy of love and acceptance, just as we are. Side note, if you guys haven't seen it, Brene Brown has this video on empathy versus sympathy. It's awesome. I greatly encourage you to check that out if ever you just want a self-help type video. Regardless, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Check out myself by YSL. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, it's your homework for this week, and I love you. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.